Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Falcon GUI. Not the, the launcher, because the launcher kind of just, I don't see a point to it, but that's just me, right? So this was built recently by uh, Ferraro, the one of the Pico OS developers. And I think this also maybe should be a part of Cache OS as well. But it shows you your available schedulers, uh, your vCache if you have any, if it's on, being utilized, your performance mode, stuff like this. This is your status window. Okay? And in here, this is where you'll end up setting your profile. So as you can see, I have I have Cyberpunk and I have this set to true. Uh, and idle inhibit is on, the scheduler is set to none, and then the vCache, right? Uh, you can make a new profile if you want. And if we do you basically executable name all right so let's just do another one for cyberpunk cyberpunk 2077.exe and idle inhibit we can set the scheduler to cosmos and gaming none and yeah save so now we have a second one that is called dot conf and uh we can edit it of course we could just i don't know is there a, how do we set names for these things so we just gotta like go in here and just set the name here like uh 2077 next two right no i don't know how to do that then that's strange but you know let's delete it and let's edit this I want to change this to Cosmic or Cosmos and to Gaming. Uh, I'm going to set this to None because I don't have that. And we're just going to hit Save. And that's it. So now, if I start up a game, let's start up Cyberpunk for, from here uh, using DLSS 4.5, which I finally figured out how to do. And... It should say, or our status, I guess, should say that we've switched over to Cyberpunk. So, scheduler is still set to none because the game's not playing yet. Hopefully, I can get it to show what I need it to show. Oh no, I can't see it. There it goes. Good. So now when I turn off the game, it will automatically set the scheduler back to where it was. Now this is important for a lot of reasons. This gives you a lot of control over your system, your power profile, everything that you need. Everything here could be just simply customized. Now I believe this might be a Rust application. I'm not sure, or it could be a Zig application, knowing Ferrero, possibly written in GTK uh, for the UI. But this is definitely a very, very cool thing. And I I think I enjoy it very much. What is Days Gone executable? Like, let's try to um, add a profile for the division. We just need to figure out what the executable name is and go from there. And it is the division exe. So I'm going to copy this. I'm on the other screen right now. Doing this, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go into profiles. I'm going to make a new profile. I'm going to paste that in there. Oh, the profile name's right there. Okay. The division. Vision one. Executable name. Idle inhibit. Cosmos. Gaming. Set that to default. Hit save. Then we just try it. It seems in that time of way, my webcam decided to work. Hi. All right. So now that we got the division one all hooked up here, I will stop the cyberpunk and I will start the division. I will accept it in all of its glory. Yes, glory. All right. Um, and our status should change. 
once the game boots up or even remotely tries. We should see that none for scheduler change to Cosmos the minute the game launches. And then we should be good to go. And the game is booting. There it goes. And there you go. And that is it. Now we have the fully functioning game ready to go. Loud. <laughs> and it's an easy way to, I guess, handle gaming, performance scheduling, things like this for certain applications all in one go. Which, honestly, when you think about it, is super impressive. And a great job well done. I hope Cache OS adopts this like Nomura does. And uh, we end up getting more amazing, useful, well-built GUI applications such as this. Because, believe it or not, this is what Linux needs more than anything to help support to help support those new users. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a part of PicoS's default installation from the newest ISO. And maybe, I don't know, but if you already are on PicoS and you've updated, this should come installed as a new application. I'm not 100% sure, but I hope that's how it goes. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, leave a comment, and become a member on YouTube here in this channel. It helps support me greatly so I can bring you more amazing videos.